debris from DC Aquatics. Guest starring Sammy the Squirrel. I'm making this video for the people that feed their fish by hand. The ones that have automatic food dispensers don't have to worry about it. But during this coronavirus, you're washing your hands a lot. But you have to make sure that you have all the soap off your hands. Because if you don't and it gets into your fish tank, it could make them sick or even kill them. Did everybody stock up on their food? Sandy sure did. She has a whole pile of peanuts and all kinds of stuff in her little nest. The last batch of zebra danios are starting to get big. We have a couple of them in there that's slow at growing. The other ones are more aggressive eaters. I separated all the betas. I had one casualty in the jars. And I ended up splitting them all up, putting one in each tank. Here's a nice little male. Bring that fan out. There we go. Here's the bass that I separated, and I'm going to give them some of these shrimp formula pellets. Oh, let one go. it up to size so they're around the same size her and Billy the bad bass when they go outside a little catfish they like the shrimp pellets too so I'm gonna throw a couple of them in here at the same time hopefully get some feeding Go get it. Oh yeah, I got one. Here's the other little catfish.
here are the new Grissomos Pucko, albino Grissomos Puckos. Dad's a long fin, mom's a short fin. There's mom getting nice and plump again. About every three weeks. This is mom and dad. About every three weeks they're spawning. Right over here are the first ones that they had. The 10th of last month. That one's an inch. There's a couple in here that's about an inch and a half long. There were 50 some, and I ended up splitting them up. Trying to put five in each tank. That way I can keep track of how many there are. And they don't have to fight over the food. Harlequin Rasboras, nice and plump. I don't see no spawning action though. Put the bag of oak leaves in there. Try to bring the pH down. Got the broad leaf. It's a fake plant. Live plants are a lot better recommended, but I'll see what happens. Move these two platinum angelfish into their own tank. I had three of them in this 55 over here, but they were beating up on this one. And I said, well, let's see if we can put Grouchy over here. And I'm seeing the tube coming out on this one. Don't see too much on this one. Yet. This is a male, you can tell because of a big bump on its head. A big forehead. Might be too small a girlfriend for him. I got a koi over in this tank now. I had a pump go down on me, so I brought him over here. Got some carrots growing for the garden. Raise my own carrots so I can feed the mealy worms and the super worms. And then feed the super worms to the bass and the catfish. A vicious cycle. We also have some zucchinis growing, cantaloupe, jalapeno peppers, they were really hot, and they were even hotter the next day, they aren't coming up yet, maybe that's a good thing. I have all the violet guppies, all the fry separated. This tank is all the females. Well, I would consider half of them that half black slash violet. 
right here is one of the adults. And I have this project going on. Female guppies. Nice color in their tails. And male handler. Real nice colors. Long top fin. Come on, focus in. There's my blue metallic. There's two of them over in this tank. Look at how bright they are. Top view. This guy is all right. Hard to tell with these lights. Throw lights from Walmart, LED. And I took off the cover. They seem to make the plants grow a lot faster without that cover on them. Everybody be safe out there. Wash your hands. Make sure all the soap is off them before you feed your fish. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button, share, and we'll see you next time.